is a mandibular radiograph, which is a tooth that we can see, teeth. Four, five, six, is, seven. Yeah, prob assuming that it might be there because you can count <coughs> out the dot, so probably it must be the uh, fourth quadrant. Mm -hmm. So this must be uh, four, 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 five, four, seven. Four, seven. <coughs> yes. So which is our tooth of interest? Four, four. Four five. Four five. Yes, four five is a tooth of interest. So we can see that. Uh, what can we see in four five? Let's start with the crown. Radiolucency involving enamel dentin. Yeah, radiolucency. If you actually have a trace of the radiolucency, that's where it is. Yeah. Yeah, large radiolucency. Okay. So what is it? Dentin. Dentin. Very good. Then when we come to the root. Radiolucency. Okay. Opacity. opacity also, yes, where do we see the opacity? Are you talking about this one? No, no there must be just, uh, just a bit of excessive amount of bone over here, right? Yeah, but then, then you also see it here. Yeah? So, what do we call this type of radio opacity? Dense bone island, very good. Okay, dense bone island, also called as enostosis. Right? Yeah. So now, actually, we skip the landmarks. Can we just go back to the landmarks? Mm -hmm. uh, Ma what, what is that step? Oh yes, very good. We can see a very clear pattern. Yeah. So that is the. What is that called? Step, yeah, step ladder trabeculation. Okay, so it's very nicely seen in this particular radiograph. Step ladder trabeculation. Okay, so let's go back to the premolar radiolucency. We can see a nice, uh, well defined radiolucency here. So you will observe that what has happened to the PDL and the laminar dura? Yes. Loss of lamina dura. You, you actually uh, cannot even make out the uh, lamina dura anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you only can see it up to um, somewhere here, and then you can't see the lamina dura anymore. Yeah. Right? So the PDL is widened and the lamina dura is completely lost. Right? So, what should this radiolucency be? Okay, that's a good one. Periapical granuloma. All right. Yeah. Is there any other radiolucency that we are seeing? Yes. Mm, yes. This area looks a little confusing. Yeah. Maybe it's a little smaller than that actually. It's um, only. Here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what can that be? Is there any pulp involvement in 4 4? No, it doesn't seem like that. So, what should that be? Period. Hmm? What is it? Say it louder. <coughs> Location for lateral periodontosis? Hmm? Yeah, location for lateral periodontal cyst would be more likely somewhere here, this area. Okay, but this is more like, uh, you know, the apex of the tooth. So, can we think of some other uh, radiolucency that is uh, closer to the... Um, residual cyst. Residual cyst means there should be a missing tooth. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Mm. So what else is that radiolucency which you are not able to define and but the tooth looks normal and it's the lower premolars. Hmm? Lower premolar, root apices, ill-defined radiolucency. Okay, if it's a pair, say it louder, what do you think it is? Uh, are you able to say bone loss? Not really. Then. How can it be a periodontal abscess? There's no bone loss. Bone height looks reasonably okay here. Hmm? 
So what else is it? Think again. Now since we are looking at a radiograph which was taken for uh, the molar regions, this area probably is not very clearly seen but you can still make out that there is some fuzzy radiolucency here. Mandible? Can I enforce that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Okay. Let's wipe out all of this and look at it. Just focus on this radiolucency here. Right? So, focus on that radiolucency and tell me, what do you think it could be? Again, I'm giving you a clue. It's the mandibular premolar region, root apices. Mental Excellent. It's the mental foramen. <laughs> okay. So that's what it is. This is mental foramen. Okay. Depending on how the x-ray is taken, it should somewhere lie in this zone. Right? Okay. So that's about it. So what is our diagnosis? We've diagnosed it as uh, uh, granuloma. Our differential diagnosis would be a peripuncal cyst. That's it. Ma'am, why is the radiolucency at the crown is so well defined? Uh, radiolucency at the crown? You mean to say in 4 5? Yeah. It's because it must be a huge chunk of the tooth which is lost due to caries. So we hardly have any tooth structure left. That's why, in comparison to the amount of tooth left here, there is very little tooth structure left here. That's why it's completely uh, radiolucent. Yeah. Any other doubts with this radiograph? Yeah, so we turn, learned a few terms. Step ladder pattern, mental foramen, we've got the peripical granuloma or cyst, and we have some enostosis or dense bone island here. Right, done. Thank you.